First segment, I wanted to talk about this. Of course, this person, I mean, I clicked on the profile or rather saw the description that the that this person had of their own little profile. And I already knew before I looked at it, just going based off the comment, what it would say. And it checked virtually every single box. Some of you guys are knowing what I'm talking about. But I, I do want to talk about this because this is something that that we've discussed before of the textbook gaslighting that a lot of fans and these aren't really fans. These are people who are loosely connected and loosely tied to uh, a lot of these brands that maybe you are all passionate about. And this is why I say let the companies fail because they're catering to an audience of flaky non fans that exist on Twitter. And that's about it. And maybe cosplay characters but they're not really knowledgeable on this sort of work um, and they're not nearly as passionate as you are. Um, and as much as it may suck, I think that it's time to let these instances or rather these brands fail and force them to have to depend on the money of the, uh, of the people that they're catering to, which are non fans and broke people. This person right here, and before I even read this, this is, this is, you already know that I'm going to give you a crack smoked, ass uh deal as far as what the actual for those of you that are listening audio i'm going to explain to you read this person's some of the highlight points of this description she her pronouns in the bio anime and cosplay don't hashtag black lives matter a hashtag and homelessness so you already know this person's take is going to be dog shit. It's just the profile in itself says all that you need to see or hear. But let's talk about what this person discussed, and then I'll give you my take on it. Here's this. Folks mad about a mermaid being black, an alien being black, and an elf being black. At some point... We uh, can we collectively agree that you might just have something against black people because everything else mentioned does not exist in the world. In 2022, and if you're that against black people being cast in these roles, it says more than you think. <sighs> OK, so. A retard that is uh, attempting to gaslight so many people that have taken issue with some of the depictions that are coming out. Now you want to talk about context, not being provided. Here's this. Um, I'm guessing with the mermaid, she's talking about little mermaid who's been cast as a black person, despite little mermaid, not being a black fucking person. It's based on a fucking Danish fairy tale, if I'm not mistaken in it. And there are a whole lot of things more white than that. Uh, the elf being black is particularly pertaining to Lord of the Rings. When well, you saw the black elf, you saw this black dwarf. Uh, and you kind of know that Tolkien was a very descriptive person. He didn't define them that way. Uh, and it also doesn't make sense canically, considering that, um, you know, that this was kind of based upon. Yes, it's a fantasy element, but based upon an era uh, in regards to Europe, that there wouldn't have been a bunch of fucking black elves running around the motherfucker anyway uh, that are being depicted as such. It's one thing for them to be uh, depicted as something else, but that was the issue. It's cannon break. It's cannon breaking. Much like a lot of my videos you guys have seen, we talk about tokenization, race swaps, and all that. Now, the reason why this stupid fucking person person would say something like this. It's because, yes, number one, the person's a retard. That's Get that out the way. But aside from that, you have to understand that in order for their, their positions to be true, they have to sort of project this fake argument or fake position onto people that they need to be true. Because if this isn't the case, if you guys uh, uh, don't have issues with black people and you guys that take issue with some of these cannon-breaking elements... Uh, of course, you know, that isn't your issue. You don't it's not that you dislike uh, black folks or anything, but they need that to be true. And if that is true, then their argument serves to be some sort of justification. But 
this is why you mock shame and make fun of these people instead of really, you know, going because this person is disingenuous and dishonest. I don't know how many times certainly folks like myself have to get up on. I know I've been leading the charge on this, talking about creating new stories. Um, I talk about, for example, African uh, mythology and um, folklore that has not even been told kind of in those elements that could be told that they could pick from. But instead, because they only see legitimacy in white characters, they take these white fucking fairy tales, fairy tales, white fantasy elements that are based upon Europe instead of Africa. Uh, and they like to change a bunch of those because it goes back to the point that they only see legitimacy in white characters. Now they would never admit that, but that's the honest to God truth. And of course, the folks that may take issue with some canon breaking thing. And you got to remember when you have something like Tolkien, who was very descriptive in how he defined his uh, his world. Right. It took years upon years to do that. But how he defined his world, he was very descriptive. But not only that, a lot of this stuff that they talk about, were like race swaps, where they like, let's say in the alien space where you have Starfire who they didn't even try to make look like Starfire in uh, the Titans show. She's just a black woman, you know, now because that's the case. They didn't even try no painting her skin, kind of this golden orange uh, ish situation. They never attempted to do that. She's just a literal dark skinned black woman as that's being playing a character that's Starfire. They didn't even try comic books. I say all the time are is a visual medium. This is an attempt at gaslight that you don't have to allow them to make it with this because comic books is a, are a visual medium. So any crackhead motherfucker who acts like you're being irrational by having some standard of expectation, if this crosses into animation or this crosses into a live action, you expect it to look similar to that. If not, why even use the character? Why even use this branding? It's a vis comic book specifically our visual medium. So why would you do that? And like I said, in the case of Tolkien, he's very descriptive. So why? Use this shit if you're not going to honor it. This is why I'm so excited, man, that we have, we're about to enter a renaissance age, man. And we're going to have these other creatives that come up and entertain some of these aspects of what they say can't be done. Or rather, we show them how to do it. When we talk about, like, it's not a fucking rocket science to come up with an original black fucking character um, that it is not attached to some classically white character. We'll show them how to do that. And once it gets adopted and embraced and, and we get we get some fans and supporters that are excited for this work, I'm moonwalking on all you dead fucking careers, on your dead careers of these pissy broke comic pros. But I'm also laughing in the face of all these fucking weirdos who make nonsensical arguments like this that act as if we're talking out of pocket when we take issue with an inaccurate depiction. And often these inaccurate depictions are done for the sake of, yeah, playing social political poli or, or the politics or, or in the name of uh, it, like the intention race swap. You have to remember, man, a lot of these depictions, definitely if they're taking place in these sorts of areas, you're not going to see, um, uh, uh, let's say characters that are looking like they're supposed to be if they're all like more fair skinned um, don't expect that because their awards and all this weird stuff are not tied to having X amount of POCs and lesbians and shit that are part of their projects right so and a lot of this stuff ain't even just with race swaps like with the Tolkien and stuff like the fact that the dwarf wasn't bearded was another thing that people took took issue they're not even trying this is why I say you care more about that as an actual supporter and longtime fan, longtime reader of this material. You care way more about it than the creators care, care about it. And, I'm, and by creators, I'm using that loosely. I'm saying the people that are in charge of the properties now. You care about that way more than they do. And you care more about this than some weird old uh, Stan account on Twitter. So just they got it. As much as it sucks to see that stuff fall, they got it. We got to build stuff new, gatekeep these motherfuckers out of it. And I, I would more so be interested in how they're going to sustain themselves, not depending on the people that they fucking sit up here and, and, and call racist and call Nazi and, 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 and express hatred towards because they have a differing opinion than them. I want to see how long these companies last 
when they can no longer depend on the money of those people that they call all those sorts of names. You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Canon's sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on youtube.com slash young ripper five nine and odyssey.com slash at young ripper five nine. Be sure to check out my website, ericdjuly.com so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.